Hi, I'm LP Master 6 and welcome back to Kirby Star Stacker. As promised, we will be doing the challenge mode now. So, just how many stars can you stack? Ho ho ho. It's not even about stacking the stars. So I don't know why. What's up with the false advertising? Also, where are the stars? There's no stars. Oh, well that works. Great, we can stack a lot of stars. I don't know whose fist that is, if it's still supposed to be DDD's, but you'll notice when the fist isn't there, after he fists us, thank you for fisting, it's Mr. Star! That's his canon name! He's a cool guy! I like Mr. Star. I have no complaints with him whatsoever. He doesn't do anything except kind of sit there, because that's, you know, not part of the gameplay, off to the side. You just look at him and he's dancing. He's having a grand old time. But that's all I have to say about Mr. Star. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about challenge mode. Uh, essentially, it's an endless mode. And you're just trying to stack as many stars as you possibly can. I think. Pretty sure that's how it goes. So it's kind of the opposite of round clear. I don't know how long we'll be doing this endless mode. But if on any difficulty, I believe, any difficulty at least, it might be the super hard difficulty. Because you'll notice we didn't have challenge unlocked. I mean, uh, insane. We have challenge unlocked from the start of the game. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have insane unlocked in challenge is what I was trying to say. To unlock challenge, you have to stack a thousand stars in challenge mode. I said unlock challenge again. God damn it, I can't talk. This has all been one sitting, this entire game. Whatever part this is. I don't know why we got a happy little jingle there, but I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, Mr. Star is really dancing a jig. So, have you guys been eating oatmeal raisin cookies? Because I have. Those were pretty good. I just ate three. I couldn't help myself in between videos. Also, now my hands are really getting sweaty. It's pretty hot in here. I turned the air down to record, so it should be okay. Everybody, can you comment what temperature your house is set to regularly? Or just right now would be fine. You know, I just want to take a poll. Uh, we normally set ours in the summer, which it is the summer still right now. Everybody says September 1st is fall. It is not. Do not rob early September of its identity of summer because that's what it is. Now, uh, you know, we keep our air on 77 to save money. She used to complain a lot about it, but I would sneak up and turn it up. We needed to save money. And then we just, you know, got used to it being 77. It's really not that bad. Except when we're trying to sleep. So we turn it down to 75, 74, sometimes even 73. But, you know, we've been saving a lot of money this way. In the winter, uh, my wife has a heated blanket and a uh, heater, a space heater that she sits in front of all the time. So we keep the heat. I try to, especially while we're sleeping, 61, but she usually turns it up to 64. These numbers might seem arbitrary, uh, but they're actually <laughs> uh, the numbers that cats can handle, like, uh, comfortably. Cats can perfectly comfortably handle uh, 61 degrees and up, or 61 to 77 degrees. So that's why the numbers are as arbitrary as they are, because they're not arbitrary. That's why they sound arbitrary, I should say. <laughs> I'm exhausting my throat. My wife told me yesterday, if you keep singing Foo Fighters like that, you're not going to be able to record tomorrow. But guess what? Here I am. I was singing a lot in the bed last night. Because I, what was, I was singing a song, and she was like, oh, you can sing. So I was trying, like, you, you're really good at impressions. She told me I was really good at Alice in Chains. And uh, Pearl Jam. I'm not so sure. And that I'm not good at imitating Ben Foles, but I'm good at singing his songs. I wish I could hear it the way she hears it, because I appreciate that hype, because I would love to be a decent singer. Then all I need to do is learn guitar, and I don't need other people to make music at all. Uh, and that would feel great. 
Alright, we have stacked 94 stars. Can we stack 1,000 stars? Oh, we stacked 100! We get confetti! And it speeds up. At least it feels like it speeds up. So I don't think we'll be able to unlock, uh, you know, Insane in Challenge or Time Attack. And unlocking Insane in Challenge and Time Attack as well as beating Insane in Round Clear. That, my friends, is how you unlock the alternate title screen for Kirby where he wears a crown. And uh, the alternate Super Game Boy border. And you can't change back from those without erasing the data. I don't know how to feel about those. They're good rewards. They're very minimalistic. They show that you actually did something, which is nice. But... I don't know. They're irreversible. You don't get a choice. There's no say in the matter. You just will deal with the new title screen. And in most cases, they're better. But they're not as classic, you know? If that makes any sense. It's a weird thing to bitch about. That's why I'm not bitching about it. I'm just pointing out that some people might bitch about it. I'm sure there's an example of a game where the title screen's a lot uglier. Um, after the 100% title screen's unlocked. But I don't know. I can't think of one. Can you guys? Comment below if you can think of one. I keep saying to comment stuff because I want more comments. Please comment. I don't care what you comment. Tell me the video sucks. <laughs> I would enjoy constructive cr criticism and feedback. That would be very, very nice. Uh, we will put you over here. Maybe a puzzle game isn't the place <laughs> for me to ask for constructive criticism and feedback. But oh well, I'll take it anywhere. I don't get very many bad comments. Just the guy who told told me my wife was coping so hard that she's bad at game. Or he said girlfriend. Like, very misogynistic comment. But I've talked about that plenty of times before <laughs> in other videos. And, uh, great video, pretentious vegan commentary aside. <laughs> that wasn't even a bad comment. I feel like a lot of my old obnoxious bits were kind of funny. I hate to admit. Like, sometimes obnoxious is a little funny. If you do it just right. And sometimes I'll just say something goofy and off the wall and it does make me laugh. And that was my original intention, so... I guess it worked. Though a lot of this, the stuff was too obnoxious. Just, my energy worked back then, sometimes. Just not often. I feel like. I've spent so much of this video talking about older videos. I don't have much new to talk about. Uh, I'm playing through The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons still. I haven't played it in, like, weeks. I'm playing it, a future Let's Play, and a Sight Bike 64, which I already mentioned. And that's all the games I'm playing through, aside from the obvious Animal Crossing New Leaf, which I cannot get enough of. If you, any of you guys feel like pulling out, uh, you know, your old New Leaf copy, please hit me up. Leave. I don't know how people, other YouTubers, contact each other, but I am more than happy to, uh, play New Leaf with you guys. Or have anybody contact me. My email is rje ddle3 at email, not email, gmail.com. Or lpmaster6, lpmaster6 at gmail.com, because for some reason lpmaster6 at gmail.com was already taken. Okay. Oh! Okay, so it does change. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, I just wanted to see how long we could keep that going at that point. <laughs> oh, I very much enjoyed that. Alright, where... No place to put you. You can go there. You can go there. This is going to be all I'm going to say the rest of the game. You can go there. You can go there. I wanted to do a whole video one time where I just made Charles Martinet-esque sounds. But then again, Video Game Donkey already did that, so... 
very bold move. I like a good bold move. But they're always funnier in theory than they are in practice. Like, when you tell somebody, oh, this guy uh, did like five boring golf let's plays in a row. Like, that's kind of funny. Like, they, there were so many parts of NES golf that made it look like I was a huge fan. But in theory, the actual video's not funny at all. That's not even a good example. There's other jokes like that. I don't know, I feel like I've done some good jokes on this channel. Like, actual Let's Play related jokes, not like I said something funny. Like, nobody, like, really commented. Nobody, not a single person noticed in my, uh, Kirby's Pinball Land. Let's play, in the middle of the Let's Play, I started playing a different game for a few minutes. Nobody commented about that. Uh, of course, Wario's Woods. I spent multiple parts doing an entire playthrough. Still calling it Let's Play Wario's Woods. Uh, of Elf the Movie for Game Boy Advance. That was a good one. That was funny. Um, so, like, I left it in the thumbnails and everything. And I'm excited for my wife to get to that point in making my thumbnails. I gotta start watching through old videos. Uh, while I'm doing that, I gotta start, um... Saying what I want for the thumbnails. So as of right now, she's on, let's play, like, 22 in making thumbnails. I didn't mean to do that at all. No, okay. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Thank you! And I've just been letting her do with that whatever with a little bit of guidance. Like, for Earthbound. You know, I was like, oh, do this for this one. Or giving her multiple choices, you know. She's pretty good at making the thumbnails. My original thumbnail guy was my obnoxious, uh, common collaborator, Cole. And, uh, he kind of did them pretty lazily, but I liked the way he did them. It was a nice style. So she's continuing that style and updating it, which I greatly appreciate. He only did my first 16 Let's Plays. He just never continued. I didn't ask him to do thumbnails. He's the one who wanted to do thumbnails and an intro. And that's what ended up happening. Yeah, don't worry. I'm already taking it out. See? Boom. Gone. No more danger. No, stop. <laughs> oh, we might get to a thousand at this rate. Playing it all in one sitting really helps. And on the big screen, I have no distractions. This is obviously... Well, it's not obvious. My first time playing it on an actual Game Boy Player. My first time playing it ever was when I bought it a few months ago. Um, on eBay for this Let's Play. And I'm trying to remember the name of the guys I watched that Let's Played this game. So they were pretty alright. I want to... The, the playlist was called The Dreamy Let's Play, I believe. And they had done like every Kirby game. It was pretty cool. Uh, their channel was well organized. They had a Patreon. Of course, there's so many people I would like to support on Patreon, but don't. I don't have any extra money ever, so I don't. You know, I don't. I want to support people who need it, and also people who don't need it, just because I like their stuff. Like Kit and Krista, I want to be involved. Not involved necessarily, but I want access to those bonus Q and A's and the Discord that I'd never use because I never get on Discord. All my friends use Discord. Oh, that's not entirely true. But, like, if you want to contact me, you either text me or hit me up on Facebook Messenger, because I'm old. I still don't have a TikTok account. I'm sure I will get one one day for some reason, because I've gotten one for most social media platforms at some point or another, but I don't think I'll ever need a TikTok account. Like, I, I don't see myself getting to the point where I try to promote my YouTube videos on TikTok. I know some people do that, and I'm like, just promote your YouTube videos on YouTube, right? I don't know, I just don't get the appeal of most social media. <clears throat> Too bite-sized for me. Oh man, we're already a third of the way there. We might be able to do this. Well, then I have to go back and finish Insane Difficulty, right? 
Like, if we do everything else in the game... I don't know, we'll see how time attack goes. Man, I am... Ooh! I'm killing it. I'm not afraid to admit it. You get out of here. Okay, that means we can... Ah, oh, whatever. We're not gonna do anything smart. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Who's got that itchy eyeball? I do. I constantly have dry red eyes. My nose is always red in the winter, too. I'm not sure why. I have poor circulation in my hands. This is a winter subject. This is summer. Don't talk about how dry your hands get in the winter. How horribly bloody and and dry they get because I'm always outside and like the heat, you know, in the car is a dry heat, not good for your skin. We got a humidifier for our house this year though. I bought it in spring because it was on my to buy list. Now uh, my to-do list says save up money. So that's what I need to do. So I also need cat insurance. You know, because the reason I'm so desperate for money is because I lost $11,000 from not having cat insurance. You know, and we had to pay $11,000 in vet bills. And I obviously didn't have that much money. Most people my age don't. At once. Just sitting in their bank account. So I was in debt for 13 months. That's how long I lived in my first apartment. That's what I think of when I think of 13 months. Oh no. I gotta be honest, I'm getting a little bit bored, but that's only because I've been playing this for hours straight. This is a really fun, addicting game. And the closest we've... This is probably the longest playthrough of a puzzle game yet on the channel, which is shocking and a little weird. Useless bomb, thank you. 400! Alright, but things are getting dangerous. The music is ramping up. Alright, where do we want to put... Okay. That's easy. Over here. And you go there. Uh-huh. Oh, we're back to this commentary, aren't we? Oh. There's so many close calls, but it's shockingly lenient. Alright, no. Oh! That was too good of an opportunity to pass up, but I was too slow. Yeah, this is getting fast. Ooh, do you guys hear that siren going down the highway? Because I live on a four-lane highway. It's very loud and bright at night. Other than that, perfect place to live. I wouldn't say perfect. The farmland is not great. But the cows are. Because uh, we let our neighbor's cows frolic in our field that we own. Like, we did that while, you know, or my wife's grandfather was still alive because it was his house. And, oh God. Ooh, <laughs> I am not quick enough for this. We may not make it. We're only on normal difficulty too. I may not show the others. I don't think there's much of a point. You don't get anything for them, so. We'll see. But if I'm getting a little tired of the game, I think you guys probably definitely are. Because you're not even playing! Uh, but this neighbor, we let him, um... Just have his cows come over, and... After my wife's grandfather died, you know, he came over and talked to my wife while I wasn't home and was like, Hey, is it, you know, okay if the cows come by and stuff? And like... The fact he even had to ask is ridiculous. It was very polite and nice. But, like we wouldn't want to see cows in our field. We're not doing anything with it. He just made hay out of all the grass over there. So he's making a nice profit on our agreement. And we get to see cows every so often. Basically in our yard. It feels good. And uh, he doesn't do anything with the cows. I think he does sell them off. You know, and separate families. I don't know. I don't want to ask. I like seeing the cows. They don't seem miserable. They have tons of land to roam. You know, of course I'd rather them be free. 
Not that there's any place for free cows to go. It's a cow sanctuary. You can't really survive in the wild. Like, you can make the argument that animal agriculture is a good thing because it keeps cows alive, but would you rather be... Like, that's a pretty simple question. Would you rather be tortured <laughs> as a species or die out? I'd rather die out. So sorry, cows, pigs, and chickens, but... But one day, I believe people will be better. No more factory farming. And to reiterate, for those who don't know, the only reason, like, I think milk and stuff is bad is because the way the big, like, farms treat animals. It has nothing, like... There are local farmers, you know, who will even eat eggs from. Like my sister. My sister raises chickens. I know she's not abusing the chickens. She's not as cuddly with the chickens as you should be to chickens, but that's okay, it's too late, because the chickens are already older. But most people don't know that anyway, that if you cuddle the chickens, they'll be a lot friendlier. But, um, you know, those are humane eggs. Those aren't hurting anything. Of course, meat always is, <laughs> but, you know, I'm specifically talking about dairy and eggs. You know, it's just a protest, essentially, to the factory farms which is nine, over 99% of the time where you're going to be getting your, your dairy products and your eggs. So it's essentially a protest against the treatment of chickens and cows, etc. So that's, that's just for anybody who's confused out there as to why, you know, even though milking a cow doesn't hurt the cow. It does in some instances, actually. You really have to be careful about stuff like this. Also, horse riding? Never get on those pony rides at the fair. The ponies look sad. Why would you do that to them? Like, you're heartless. If you're like, oh, I want to ride on the miserable creature that is literally being forced to stand for hours on end and doesn't look happy at all. Like, you could say that's their job, but they didn't... They're like slaves. They didn't apply for that job. They didn't want that job at all. They want to live a fun life. They don't want to be miserable. Do you? You don't. I know you don't. I know you personally. Just turn to veganism in old videos. Oh, please. Alright. I've really got to focus now. Alright, then we got some kind over here. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this is tense. This is very tense. Like, do you remember when everybody would say this is tits for when something was good? I, I, now I kind of cringe at the word tits or titties. Just reminds me of childhood, I guess. I don't know. Like, that's what. Like, it's not like you can say that sexily, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, your titties. It just doesn't seem enticing to me. There's not. There's like. Boobs would be the closest thing, if you ask me. Like, breasts is too technical of a term to be attractive. It's very difficult. Well, what are you going to say, chest? I don't know. I'm trying to be more child-friendly, so I'll end the subject now. Oh my god. I didn't get a chance to turn that at all. That's okay. Take out all these ricks. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm running out of ways to strategize here. My small, tiny brain can't handle it. So I'm just making sure that we don't die to the best of my ability. Alright, I really... Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. And then we'll put you... Oh. Well, never mind. We'll put you off to the side, then. Maybe a bomb will take... Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. Sick. 600! Man! I've never done this well at all, even on normal difficulty. Hey, okay, anytime I'm proud of myself here, I'm right. I'm like, oh yeah. How could I forget this is normal difficulty? <clears throat> so 
So, oops. And I'm just making you guys sit here and watch me play this. <laughs> I'm not making you, you can click off, but this is what I'm uploading as my content for the day. Not that I upload every day. I don't really want to stick myself to a schedule, that's not fun. Especially because I'm only doing one Let's Play at once. I have the Chugga Conroy mentality. I didn't adopt it on purpose, but we do have the same upload habits. Whenever we have, you know, enough videos to upload a decent amount, we'll upload once a day. So, you know, aim for an upload every day, but you don't always get it and you're not going to rush yourself. Of course, for him, that's his job. I would definitely, de but mainly because I'm, you know, not putting as much work as he does. He puts an insane amount of work into his videos, which I'm not saying is a bad thing or that I wouldn't put enough work into my videos, but... You know, uh, if I had the time, I would definitely upload every day. I would, I would probably record every day. Maybe not every every day, but you know, a man can dream. Too bad Let's Playing is dead. So I don't know how I'm gonna make money unless I switch it up. But I, I, I do. I, ooh, <laughs> I want to do other stuff too, not just you know record Let's Plays. But we'll see as time comes. Right now I'm focusing on the project of editing all my past videos and getting to about 120 Let's Plays or so. And then I think... Uh, I say or so, but we all know I have obsessive compulsive disorder. When I say or so, that's a lie. The number I say is exact most of the time. When I get to 120 Let's Plays, I want to do something different. But right now, you know, I, I'm watching six Let's Plays per Let's Play of the old ones. Uh, so six old Let's Plays per Let's Play I do now. Uh, so that way I have <clears throat> five Let's Plays at the end where I can just try out new stuff maybe? Or at least, you know, get an idea in order of what else I want to do. I want to stream, but I don't know whether to do that on Twitch or YouTube. Because I know that I'd get more viewers on Twitch, but YouTube is a lot more lenient about what you can say. And I already have viewers here so maybe I'll try both I'm not sure we'll figure it out so maybe I can make some money that way I don't know my wife uh, if you'll remember if you followed me for a long time and paid attention she was streaming for a little while she only did a few because it made her feel anxious because you know she has social anxiety she can't even play online without voice chat with people like on Club Tortimer on Animal Crossing New Leaf. If anybody wants to play with me, again, invitation still stands. Uh, it's The game was last sold for $20. So you should be able to find it at a decent price. It was a Nintendo Select. It is Amiibo compatible if you have a new 3DS or a, just an NFC reader for the original 3DS models. I think that would be so fun. I wish I had more of a community. I'd be like, hey, everybody, play <laughs> play Animal Crossing New Leaf now. We play together. But it's not like I do what anybody else in, the, in any community wants me to do. I feel selfish for it, but I spend so much time on this. You know, I really, I don't know how people have free time. I don't get it. That's kind of one of the reasons I want to work a nine to five job, but I don't want to give up my job now. Then I would have more time every day to do stuff. But so far, I've been making better time. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Shit. Shit. No, it's over. We were so close. <sighs> oh, well. Hooray, you're number one. Should we try super hard really quickly? Nah, you get the point. Let's take a look at our records here since I erased the data. 7, 13, <laughs> 30, and then 20. 30, 20, 10 for time attack. Which we'll be doing next time for the finale. Because I, after that, I'm definitely not doing uh, the rest of the insane difficulty. I'm sorry if that upsets anybody, but I don't 100% puzzle games usually anyway. Though, in my own personal time, I say this, but I'll never actually do it. I may go back and 100% this game. Who knows? Goodbye.
Hi, uh, I'm LP Master Six, and welcome to the finale of Kirby's Star Stacker. For real this time. So, just how many stars can you stack in three minutes? And of course, we have every difficulty, and there is a way to unlock insane difficulty, and we're gonna try to do that now. But since this is based entirely on time, I'm not good at it. For example, Oh my god, and ooh, normal difficulty is so slow. <laughs> but if we stack 100 stars, we unlock the insane difficulty. Sorry, something's up with my throat. I've been talking too much. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There we go. We got 10. We're a tenth of the way there. We might technically yet be able to do this. Alright, I gotta focus up. Why is it so slow? I don't think it speeds up because, you know, it's a three-minute challenge. Alright, uh, yeah, you. We'll stack you. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to make it, damn it. I didn't think we would. Based on the way that I play the game very slowly and cautiously. I knew I wasn't gonna be good at time attack. Oh. <sighs> But I can dream. So this is a pretty short finale. I might tack this on to the end of the last one. Oh well. I still don't know if I'm going to be able to do verses, actually. Uh, hmm. I'll have to hook that up and figure it out. My wife may yet be able to join us for it. But I'm not so sure... Because it's really difficult to set up, and I don't know if that's worth it for this. So Game Boy games, I won't be doing that much multiplayer for, just because it's so hard to set up. I will when possible, uh, and when actually really interesting. But I already told you, Waddle Dee's Player 2, it's pretty simple. It's just like any other puzzle game versus mode that my wife has done with me on the channel. I don't think anybody else has ever joined me for a puzzle game. Just my wife. Uh, also, the manual refers to <laughs> Mr. TikTok Jr. over there. That's his official name. You know, he's like Mr. TikTok, the mini boss, mid boss, whatever you want to call him. But the manual calls him, if I'll pull it up, where, what did I do with it? Hello? Ah, oh, what have I done? Ah, Tic Tac Jr. Without a hyphen, lowercase t, Tic Tac Jr. How how is that misprint allowed? <laughs> oh, I, I despawned Rick. Fuck. That was gonna be a lot of stars. You know. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say we're not terribly close, but we didn't actually get very many stars in that. Alright, okay, if uh, the things, if the blocks have spawned up there, hey, we ended up with over 50. That's pretty neat. If the blocks have spawned up there, mm, at the top, after the timer, before the timer reaches zero, then you can still play them and then let everything play out afterward. Which is good to know, but we didn't unlock insane and we didn't beat insane in any category. Well, we unlocked Insane in Round Clear, at the very least. So that feels good. But, we just get the regular title screen here. Boring. No Kirby with a crown. Not like we could have seen the Super Game Boy, uh... Anyway. I could be playing this on a Super Game Boy, but I don't own one. I probably should buy one, but the Game Boy player plays all generations of Game Boy games, so... Maybe one day. Well, let's go ahead and check out our records, I guess, as we end it off. And uh, in case I do versus goodbye, I'll see you next time. I'm LP Master 6, but if not, I will announce my next Let's Play now. Game and Watch Gallery. And it's going to be a long, tedious one of mindless talking yet again. And I'm excited for it, because it is... A gallery of fun mini games, and I will see you then. I'm LP Master Six. Thank you for stacking stars with me.